Hello everyone! Just give me a quick second here. I'm... I don't know what it is, but every time I actually hit start on a live, it recenters my camera. So I'm just pulling it up now on my computer screen so I can see you. Okay, perfect. So today I wanted to use the So Sentimental bundle. Um, sorry, not the bundle, just the stamp set. I'm actually going to use it with our new punch that it is the pick a punch label pick a punch. Sorry, I was forgetting the name. I'm going to case actually a card from the catalog, the new annual catalog, but I'm going to do it a bit differently. They had stamped a bunch of images. I'm going to use designer series paper and um, well, let's see how it goes. So I always create two cards at a time. So I have created two four and a quarter by five and a half inch card bases. Mine are actually going to open on the left because apparently that's the way I cut them today. Then I also have a um, three and three quarters by five and a half inch piece of designer series paper. This one's from the pattern play, I believe it's called designer series paper. And I've got two of those. I have a two and three quarter inch by three quarter inch piece of Melon Mambo cardstock. And I also have a one inch by three inch piece of, sorry, I think I said Melon Mambo for this. This is Mango Melody. This is Melon Mambo. So to start, I'm actually going to stamp first. That way, if I make a mistake, I can fix it. I wanted to use this Calls for Confetti, and I thought that would really suit this page here, or this paper. So I'm going to grab that stamp. And we'll grab a block. So when you're selecting a block, you want to make sure it's as close as possible to the size of the stamp without the stamp overhanging. That prevents what we call shoulders or the ink that's excess that comes onto the paper. So, and then I tend to line it up with my grid paper so I can see that it's lined up square side to side. Um, it's approximate, but it helps just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to use Memento ink on this one because with the bright colors, I really wanted it to stick out. You could also heat emboss it in um, white embossing powder, but I thought today we'll keep it simple. I love this calls for confetti. Like, how cute is that? It's perfect for a birthday, but it's also perfect for any kind of celebration, which... I like to have cards that are multi-purpose hanging around all the time just to be safe. So I'm going to set the memento ink aside, not on my mouse pad. I got a new mouse pad from Stampin' Up! and it's beautiful and the first day I had it I put ink on it so I'm trying to keep it cleaner. All right that's now pretty clean so we'll set that aside and then I'm going to put this in the pick a punch and because this is going to be my inside piece I am going to do the square punch and I'm hoping I made this long enough this is why you should test things before you go and do it live yep it's long enough so perfect there and ah I slid it in and I got a different um, end on it. So I'm going to redo that. It must have slid to the side. So this piece is going to be shorter than the other. But there, at least now it's it looks right. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Melon Mambo and I'm going to do it with the curved ending on each side. So one thing I've learned about the layer punches is that for whatever reason I seem, it, and it's gonna be your trimmer. My trimmer seems to be set that it's about a 16th or a 32nd, uh, being very, very tiny off. 
with these punches so sometimes you have to be um when you cut them you should cut them just slightly smaller than the one inch or the three quarter inch which i didn't do this time so just keep that in mind when you're cutting you might want to make it slightly smaller than um what you think okay so there we go and I'm actually going to layer these one on top of the other. I picked these colors because these are the colors that are in the designer series paper. The nice thing about Stampin' Up! is they always put the name of the colors that we're using on, in the designer series paper on the back. Sorry, my seal plus is getting to the end of the roll, so it just needs a little help every once in a while. And it's at the end of the roll. So the nice thing is, though, to change these out. Oh, of course, now I'm live, so it's going to give me a problem. There we go. You just pop out the cartridge. This goes in the recycling or in the garbage. And you grab a new one. So the Stamp and Seal Plus. You want to make sure that you grab the right product. And you pop that back in. And I have it upside down. So give me one second as I'm battling. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry. Just needed to jiggle it a little. Okay. And that's fully closed. So we're good. So I was doing this one. So we'll just finish it. And I find sometimes to start, if you, one, you can use your fingers and just pull it forward like so, or two, if you have a little bit of adhesive already on your page, you can use that to um, pull forward the plastic. So I'm going to use my grid paper to line this up slightly. And looks to be just over two squares. There's not a lot of play with this seal plus it's a permanent adhesive so you want to get it right the first time. And because these two are slightly different size wise I have to do the whole process again. Okay and hi ladies I can't see who's watching but I can see that somebody's there so thank you for joining me and I'm gonna oops sorry there we go it kept going crooked every time I went to put it down okay so I've got those two done Next up, I have ribbon that I want to use. This is the brand new Snowflake Splendor ribbon, which seems really funny on a birthday card, except that this ribbon is just gorgeous and sparkly. So I haven't used it yet, but it has a very iridescent quality to it. There we go. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. So there you can see how beautiful that ribbon is. You can see how sparkly it is. So I am going to, I like to fake my bows and um, I tie a flat piece all the way across with adhesive and just adhere it on the back. So I'm going to just Put a line of adhesive here, a line of adhesive here. Oops. Got that on my mat. There we go. I'm going to take my piece of ribbon and I'm just going to press it into the back there. Fold it over. Like so, and then this one is a bit different. So the card I'm casing from the catalog has this piece lined up along the bottom. And it just has a white strip across the top to rest your eye, which I kind of liked. 
So next I am going to make a bow. All I can think when I do this is over, under, around, and through. By the way, this is not the way I learned how to tie shoes, but I do remember seeing it on like Sesame Street or something as a kid. There. So this ribbon is a little bit on the stiff side because of the sparkles, but that's okay. We can work with that. Like it's almost got a plastic equality to it. There we go. So first, before I put my bow down, I'm going to use some dimensionals and put down my sentiment. Like so. There. And we'll put one more down. And then we'll put this on top, like so. And then this I'm going to place right about, well, actually, you know what? I might go normal with this and go, yeah, that works. And I like to use just a single glue dot to adhere my little bows. I find they work perfectly. Like so. So next, I'm going to grab, these are the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins. Because how could you have a card about confetti without sprinkling some confetti on there? But a confetti that will stay. This is where I need to learn to open packages before I go live online. <laughs> They are in there good. Okay. But the reason I picked these is I, th well, I'll show you the colors. So there's an orange, which would work really well. There's also this pink, which is kind of the one I thought I would use because it's going to stand out, but still coordinate. There's also a blue that would work. And there's this darker orange, um, which would also work. So all th three out of the four would work really well. The blue would be kind of a, a bit different that's all but I'm just gonna peel them off with my finger to keep it quick and easy and you know me I like them to be a certain way actually I'm gonna go that way so there's card number one so super cute super easy would be very easy to mass produce if you needed to mass produce it um, it would also work to just to have on hand for a variety. So let's see how it looks with different colored adhesive or um, sequins. So give this a quick go. The nice thing is this is why I like making two at a time is it's, I find it's it's so much faster. I actually quite often make four at a time, but for Facebook Lives, I like to do one or two. There, we'll line it up across the bottom, like so. They're super easy. Oh, and I put that one much lower than last time, but that's okay. much lower than I intended. I think we'll peel that up just a touch and see if I can fix that. Okay. And like so. There we go. Hi, Valerie, welcome. We'll give this just a couple dimensionals. And 
and we will stick that down like so. And then I didn't tie a bow yet, so we'll do a quick little bow. So just keep in mind if you're tying bows with this one, it's a little bit stiffer than most. Very kind of plasticky. It's not ribbon I would want next to my skin. Let's put it that way. But it is certainly beautiful. Okay. There, we'll grab a, a uh, glue dot. Place that down. And then this time, instead of using the pink sequins, I will use the darker orange, which are probably pumpkin pie-ish in color, but um, I don't know for sure. Go there. And then we'll put one right there. So there we go. Two cards. 15 minutes. I think that's pretty good. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, we have thick white cardstock. This is the pattern. Um, oh, Myrna, I'm sorry. I don't know why it didn't have any volume. I will find that out later. I apologize. Um, so thick white cardstock. This is the pattern play um, designer series paper. Then we have the label pick a punch for the ends, Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, and the iridescent, sorry, the Snowflake Splendor ribbon. And then the Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequence. So any questions, please let me know and um, I'd be happy to answer them. All right. Thanks so much. Bye now.